If I miss one second of the movie because there ain't no parking spots, I'll lay down a wicked log in the popcorn maker. Oh, hey, you know, some countries, that's considered a delicacy. The, the pop, the popcorn part. Oh, you can't park here, Ricky. This spot's for handicaps. <laughs> yeah, and they've got good parking their whole lives. It's my turn, heh? Ahem. <clears throat> one eighty dollar ticket coming up. <laughs> eighty bucks? We ain't made out of money on Trey's wreck. I know, I know. I got it. <laughs> Listen, uh, we seem to have gotten off on the wrong foot there. You see, the thing you don't realize is, I am handicapped. <laughs> well, was uh, handicapped. Today's the first day I've been able to walk since the accident. Accident, eh? Yeah, yeah, you see, it started out like any other day. But those are the days that aren't like any other days, because the other days are like the days of the days. Never mind, it sucked. How do you know the size when most the bras compress the fullness? It takes a well-trained eye to compensate the weight versus tightness. But it's never been too hard for me. Just drop them down. Well, I can't see how bras are even comfortable with those out for all of the world to see. Especially me. Whip those out. Whip those out. Whip those out. Woo! Zab, Rick, I suck this always, but you was winging it. Wow! That move was hibbity hibbity hap dog! They were death defying stunts. You are amazing. I am lucky to be your brother. Guys, I'm a rock god. It's all in a day's work. Bye bye bye! And as I walked away, I felt the gods of rock smiling down on me with golden teeth. Damn, Rick, I don't talk like that. Yeah, Rick, I ain't had a drink in months. None of that even happened. Ow! Get to the point. Well, you see, Doug left his bottle of Clean Genie out within tripping distance, and uh, I tripped on it. <laughs> ah! My bag! She's little bomb! I'm drunk! So I ended up paralyzed from the chin down. You are paralyzed from the chin down. Which was fine, because all the best solos are played with teeth. You will never walk again. Sweet! I hate walking! And just when I thought things couldn't be better, your liquid cheeseburger IV trip is here, Ricky. <laughs> wigged. I'll leave you two alone to enjoy each other, yeah? Wigged, wigged. All natural. Wigged, wigged, wig. <gasps> oh, take me, Ricky. Does that feel good? Oh, yeah. Wait, does what feel good? And that's when I realized just how paralyzed I was. <laughs> hey, dick nuts! You better find a way to unparalyze my junk before I mouth steer over yours. Okay, okay. There is one way. And that's when he told me about a sacred way to cure paralysis, an age-old method that modern medicine shud. Breast milk. I had to find it and drink it. And I only knew of one place where I could find me a pregnant chick. Excuse me, uh, are you here for the boob juice? Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> then I was whisked away down a long, dark hallway into the catacombs of the strip club. They brought me to the Queen Bee, the mother of all strippers. <sighs> Literally, she births all the strippers. Each one born blonde, 18, and Ukrainian. I guess that's where all strippers come from. Makes sense. Hello, Ricky. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a huge fan of your band. I even have a copy of your CD, which is available in finer record stores. Thank you, Queen Bee. It's also available online. My breast milk will heal your spine, but I will need you to autograph my left boob in return. No problem. Just put the pen in my mouth, and I'll sign that Ricky was here and left not a drip. All right, can we just get milking now? Jesus Christ! 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I supposed to believe even two words of that story? No. I think he wants you to believe the whole thing. <laughs> so, Rick, you're trying to say that I'm the reason you broke your back? Yes, Doug. You and your cleaning, as always, screwed everything up. Listen, miss, my cleaning was involved, but it's what got his ass moving again, not the other way around. Listen, this is what really happened. You see, miss, with Ricky's ass paralyzed and unable to cause messes, I was able to get the shop cleaner than ever before. Hang steady, fat ass. I'm in the bath in no time. With Saul taking care of Ricky, I was finally able to find the time to clean the windows. Little did I know that it would change my life forever. <laughs> Turns out my clean shone so bright that it reflected into the cosmos, which caught the eye of the Canadian Space Agency. The government knows talent when they see it. So I was called to an emergency meeting of scientific space agents. We're gonna cut to the chase here, Doug. Canada's tired of playing second fiddle to the world. We need the Olympics. Hells yeah, all that running and jumping around for medals. It's crazy fun. If we have any hope of getting them, we need to prove we're the cleanest country in the world. Bitch, point me to the dirt and I will clean it. The president of the world is coming next week. If we're going to impress him, he needs to see that everything about Canada is clean, even the sky. We need you, Doug, to clean the dark side of the moon. I, I'll do it. Under one condition. Name it. I don't want to pay tax. Ever. You pay one dollar thirteen cents. Nuh uh. No tax, bitch. Whoop. <laughs> Doug. Instantly, my mission was underway. Well, this is it. I'll be globally recognized, the envy of janitors worldwide. Blasting off into space now, making sure that Ricky gets a new spine. It'd be so lonely on the moon tonight Once I clean this bitch It'll shine so bright It'll light up all our lives be touched By my mouth and hands They clean so much They clean so very President of the world, I hereby declare Canada because of its extremely clean sky. The next horse of the Olympics. The first gold medal goes to Doug Borski for excellence in cleaning. It was spectacular. Boring. But but with a full-time full moon, armies of full-time werewolves rule free. But before they could do any harm, the moon was suddenly blocked out by a giant UFO. Okay, so what's the deal with the moon now? I come home from vacation like my property is totally fucked. I cleaned it. Ah, jeez, freaking fantastic. So now my entire family's like freaking terrorized thanks to you. You see, we're no dark side of the moon. We got no place to hide from the Gnor. So they eating us like freaking popcorn. We're like almost freaking white dog, man. So I've come to wipe you out for wiping us out. Simmy, yo, no need to get all violent, ass. So says you, jeez. Think about it, little ball. The writing's on the wall. You're all getting eaten and under attack. The solution is simple. Let's paint the mother black. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. So 
we pulled up our sleeves and painted half the moon black. <laughs> the Sporgs were so jacked they even gave me a magic wish. Listen, I'm a simple man. All I want is a new spine for my friend here so he can wipe his own ass. Ha! Don Don! Sporg! <laughs> I'm healed! I can walk again! Does this mean I have to wipe my own ass? The Sporgs even gave me a potting gift to help me with the leftover werewolves. An electric razor? Bitch, are you for real? So I shaved all the werewolves. Ah, uh -uh. keep the change, yo. Remember, I don't have to collect tax. Sing! So the long and short of it be, I saved everyone's ass, I won the Olympic gold medal, and I'm generally regarded as the best janitor to ever live. So, yeah, if you choose to make an early payment on this... Whoa, whoa, wait! Sweetums, these two don't know how to tell a true story. Here's what really, really happened. Come on! Hold up a knee! Come on! This is a waste of my time. Whoa, hold on, hold on a second. I agree with you. Their stories, ridiculous. But I promise, mine will be the truthiest of truths. You see, Ricky was paralyzed and getting fatter by the day. He was becoming just a fat, massive, fat slob of a fatty fat, see? And his vocabulary certainly hadn't improved. Shit fuck, food fuck, dork nuts fuck, wigging fuck, food fuck, shit fuck, shit. Now it's all about family, so I'm taking care of my fat crippled brother. Me no can move, me bored, me fuck bored Saul. But I was running out of ideas to keep this sack of fat crap entertained. <laughs> in the crawl space looking for entertaining things, but there wasn't Jack Shark. And that's when I saw it. My childhood friend, Meatlantis. Please, Daddy, tell me about Meatlantis again. Oh, Christ, shithead. Fine. At the bottom of the sea is a place called Meatlantis, where there is meat a plenty delicious and free. what I has to do. Ricky, I'm gonna be the best brother in the world and unparalyze you! Oh, God! <laughs> this story is wicked awesome! Wicked awesome true. So's anyways, seems I've been gone too long and Ricky was angry. <sighs> I screamed for Saul and Saul no come! Me puke in anger! No more puke in me, so now me hungry! Me want food now! I am sorry, brother, but I must go. Your paralysis cure awaits. Farewell, Ricky! Then Doug jive turkeyed into the room, said a bunch of gibberish. I can understand a word. Moppity mop, yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Bye -bye -bye. I had a monumental task ahead of me. So I colored my hair and hit the high seas. I was 72 days into my fruitless search and I was getting hungry. So I stopped for fish and chips on a giant duck. So I'm about to order the tastiest fish and chips when the growl from my hungry stomach awakens a massive kraken. Ah! Oh. Sweet berry. It was armed and looking for a fight. So I knew I'd have to get kraken. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. Sorry. The Kraken dealt its first blow! Ah! Ah! 
I knew I'd have to whack out his extremities. I made a beeline for the head. Time was now right for gouging out this motherfucker's eyeball! But my bloody victory feast had come too soon. I was about to join my daddy in the nether life when the strangest thing happened. It was a miracle. I began breathing through once dormant gills in my perforated ball sack. The miracle involving my ball sack was quickly followed by another. Meet Lantis. How convenient. <laughs> it is you, the testicle breather. Your coming has been foretold. You will lead us, the fish people, to victory over our mortal enemy, the shark people. All right. Hey, my daddy always told me I could find meat here that cures paralysis. Hook a ball breather up. <laughs> That sounds a little far-fetched. There is no meat like that, but we can grow you a new spine in a plant pot. Either or. It does take some time. That's cool. Got any potato chips? I waited 150 years for that spine. In the meantime, I evolved into a fish people, had 13 fish women, 67 fish kids, and 200 grand fish kids, each with a large fry. Mmm. Ricky's spine plant was finally ready. I was saying my goodbyes when I felt the cool sting of falling snow. A hundred and fifty years of peace had made us complacent. We were shaken from our blissful sleep and thrown into a wide awake nightmare. The shark people. A colossal battle ensued. I, being the handsomest warrior, was fighting Deathfin, their evil leader. I've waited for this moment, testicle breather. I will feast on your flesh this day. The testicle breather ain't here right now. He's gone fishing. Let's do this! Yeah, yeah, this is taking forever. They fought, saw lost, he grew legs and came back. I'm back! <laughs> Wait, hold on. What about the spine plant? Ha, ah, see, Ricky didn't let me finish. So's anyway. Ugh, you've lost speaking privileges. Listen, you want the truth? You want the honest truth? Well, I'm gonna need total immunity because we may be responsible for the deaths of hundreds of people. Okay, so you may have killed hundreds of people. How does that make it okay to park in a handicapped spot? Okay, well, earlier today, with my spine of shit shambles, I realized there was only one thing to do throw my crippled ass off the steel town escarpment. Aw, oh, snap, aw, dog. You show you got to do this? I'm so sensitive I might just a die of crying. Me too, doggies, me too. Oh, God, it should have been me, Rex. You're the one with all the talent. Oh, Heavenly Father on high, please take my useless life instead. Look at me, dudes. I'm all roll and no rock. I'm a walkless, rockless ball of shit. I hate myself and I want to die on my terms. My Tim tumbling down riggedy raggedy rocks? No, I'm going down. Down in a blaze of glory. Blaze of glory, Bon John Bovey. <laughs> Daddy always liked you better. Well, Barsky, looks like you just got promoted. I'm here! Demoted! And they said I'd never rock again! <laughs> yeah!
I guess it was a one-time thing. So then we came to the movies, and in light of all that I've been through, we parked in this handy spot. I mean, am I not justified? Okay, let's pretend that some of that was actually true. Are you or are you not paralyzed right now? Oh, that's a big no. Have a nice day. Oh, and uh, try not to trip and break your spine. <laughs> Farts! What the hell? I totally had her until you two all started talking about werewolves and sporgs and shark men? What the F? I thought my story was pretty good. Listen, my story was true, so the two of you can eat my ass. Piss on it. You know what, Ricky? Fuck you. Whoa. This could be a long ride home. At the bottom of the sea is a place of You're parked illegally. some change for spinal cord injury research? I'm sorry, but I don't seem to have any change. <laughs> there you go.